in this tutorial series what we're going to do is we are going to build a real estate type website with Drupal 7. Um, what we're going to learn, we're definitely going to learn the Drupal basics. We're going to have to we're going to learn how to create a Bootstrap 3 sub theme um, for Drupal. We, uh, we're going to learn how to make and use th and theme content types, how to use views from beginner to advanced, how to create modules to extend the functionality of Drupal, um, and work with others such as token rules, web form, path auto, and lots more. We're going to uh, learn how to create conditional content, uh, more about that in a minute, and we're going to later on give some ideas about how to integrate with Ubercart, which is an e-commerce system to monetize what we're going to build. Tutorial purpose, obviously we're going to learn uh, what Drupal can do, uh, we're going to give you a better understanding of Drupal, um, and it's for me to pass on some um, knowledge of, of Drupal techniques to others, or to you. Now, inspiration for this, we're going to do some of the things that realestate.com.au does, and we're going to make a full user uh, generated site. So, more on that in a sec. Also, we're, you know, we're not uh, just going to go leave you, you know, say watch this and leave you in the cold. Where you can get more help, obviously, you can go to um, my website, drupalcontractor.com, um, where we can, you know, get the, the snippets that I'm um, using in the videos. Always, there'll be links in the description um, to the exact content if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, also you can have a chance to get the uh, full finished source code you know, when, when the site is complete and also it's for me to offer my services as a Drupal contractor um, for you. And now we're going to get into the demo so we can um, really explain um, the features uh, that we're going to be building and then we'll get right into it. So just a little bit more about uh, the inspiration for this site. Um, this is uh, realestate.com.au. I don't know if you've ever been there. Australia. But um, let's um, let's just have a little look at what it does here. So I'm just going to type in Sydney, you know, New South Wales. It gives me a little Ajax pop-up and I get a search button. I might click on the search button and it takes me to, you know, a page with with content and it's, you know, from different agents and it has, you know, how many bedrooms and stuff like that. Obviously, um, obviously just, you know, real estate information site. I go with my, you know, the details of these individual properties. It gives me some sort of nice, you know, this is obviously a featured, um, you know, feature department or whatever. Um, and it gives me, you know, the, you know, where it is. It gives me a link to the map. It gives me, you know, the agent information. It gives me some, you know, facts about this property that I'm supposed to be um, buying. And then also it gives me more. Um, information about other places. <clears throat> um, so that's that's kind of the inspiration for what um, we're going to be um, kind of building, and also with these, um, you know, the search. They got these drop downs and minimum bedrooms and stuff like that. Okay, so let's um, jump over to like the relatively finished product. So here's the, here's a system that um, that we're that we've kind of pre-built, um, and let me just see what we can do. So I'll we'll type in Sydney. Oh, we can do that. Property type. We got our drop downs. I'm gonna tick them. I can get my you know my minimum bedrooms or whatever, and I can hit search. And then we're going to get um, obviously because there's no sidebar content. It kind of looks a little weird, but it is responsive and whatever. Um, so we're you know we go down there and we can see okay there's Macquarie Street we can view details we have a little you know slideshow happening here we have our map we have the address of the place um, we have you know the statistics of this we have an agency that's created this one and we can check out the agency and you know the agents and stuff like that and we can email our agents you know pretty easily so that's the kind of the base uh, the base thing that we're gonna build about this um, this is just a blocker created but but um, it's also gonna be free for private sales so so um, you know someone that wants to go and sell their house 
can jump on the system, sign up, and they get a free credit. More on that in a sec. Um, which they'll be able to post a, you know, post a, um, a private sale property, and then also we can have a, a free agency account where um, they get about five free credits or whatever. It doesn't really matter how many. Um, where they can, you know, add their own sales agents. They can choose, the, you know, customize the the color th uh, scheme of their agency pages, and we have access to prior, you know, priority listing stuff like that and we have this um, little credit system that um, we can, can actually buy credits and that is actually real money so I'll just uh, log in or, um, I'm logged in also we're going to create a module that takes away or that um, will override the default user account so obviously this is not styled nicely if you know anything with CSS and HTML you'll be able to style this up nicely <laughs> um, but basically it's just the information you know like they have oh this person has uh, nine credits well, great what does that mean well basically um, we made a system that um, that it, if they make a, a property post uh, it'll cost them a credit or two credits or three credits or whatever it, it, that doesn't really matter but um, so that it actually will cost them some money um, to to post a new property um, it has because this guy's an agent or admin is an agent um, he has access to adding agents and then it has credit history um, you know where you know in the account where you can see the kind of like um, where the orders were at where you bought them you know and the the deduction for for creating for creating a property uh, just so that um, we're here I'm not logged in as an administrator or anything just to kind of show you what I mean I'm gonna hit sign up now and what it's gonna look this form for private seller I'm gonna add a new account all right so registration successful you're now logged in go to my account and it says it gives me a credit history thanks for joining I have one credit and it has my properties so I'm gonna add a property all right, so I've just filled in some title prices, threw in a few, you know, uploaded a few images. So I could add more if I want. That's fine. Throw in a bit of a, a description of the property um, and property number. Then I've got this, um, you know, the address of where it is with the drop down. So New South Wales. Um, find that. Find the address on the map. There we go. Just get the longitude, and latitude. Let's save. And now you can see that um, we have deducted um, the one credit property that has been created. So it's actually there. And we've got a little, you know, a little slideshow or whatever. We set it up. We've got the map. And we've got the um, contact, which is Build Smith. And this guy, an email without sharing it, um, email address publicly. Um, and just to demo the search we're just gonna go Sydney Sydney you know I don't know minimum three bedrooms two bedrooms property type apartment and unit just to there we go and you'll see that this is blue um, just because it's for private sale and probably would put a for private private sale there but um, since that's not the purpose I'm just going to my account here and I can add a new property and when I click that sorry I don't have enough credits for that so if they wanted to add another property they would have to go through and buy some sort of pack of package of credits um, in order to either uh, upgrade their account um, their account to more than just one property making so let's have an agency demo all right, so I just liked it. Real estate agency. I've got um, fill out some of my details here. I'm going to create a new account. We're logged in. My account, you know. So it says, please set up um, your account. You're welcome. Please create your agency page. So I would click here, and I would create my agency page stuff. Um, and now we need a display theme. 
so it might be green and give us a bit of a preview black um, or custom and then so we'll say black we'll say black save So we have an agency page, then they're going to have to create um, their first agent. So it's the actual step-by-step -step process um, for them to to set up their account. Um, generally because one, um, the reason why I did it like this is because one real estate um, generally has like, you know, one or two data entry people. So one real estate agency generally doesn't really need their own individual agents to upload um, the properties. They could just, you know, give they give the the photos and the, and the write up and stuff like that that is generated through the systems and give it to the data entry person and the en data entry person puts it in there. Um, so at the end of the day, they can create their own agents, which would be another type of a content type. So we'd put in their, you know, their name, their image, phone number, email, bio, um, so that they can create that. I'll create a test guy and get back to you. So we created um, a, a new agent. Um, so now we can create a property or add a new property. So we add a new property, we have five credits. We just roll on down here, we, we have to actually you know, select an agent um, that we're gonna deal with this property. So everything's the same except for we can you know, select uh, an actual agent. So you have the search um, and you can go and you can click on the agency or, th or that and you can go down here and go to the agency and you see the agent as you know Peter Griffin or or whatever and there he is so that's basically what we're going to be building you know also with some contact us and some extra features in there um, so that's what we're going to be building so in the next tutorial we're going to get started and starting to install Drupal and start from the base one if you are if you already know how to like install Drupal, probably skip the next tutorial. Where can you go to get more help? If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm pretty sure that it's actually live right now, so you can go jump over to um, to you know DrupalContractor.com um, and where to get the tutorials. Just either you know click that button or um, go to all categories or just jump and grab some code snippets. Um, and if you want to to chat more about um, your your own project you can either come down here and, and get a project quote or if uh, you can see this live chat button oops I haven't even done the video for that yet sorry I'll just go go live so if you can see see that I'm online come on down and say hello and we can have a uh, chat about your project